Hey everyone! Welcome back to Financial Futures, and today, we're tackling a topic that's been on our minds the $200 per month raise in social security checks. We all know how badly we need this increase, especially with the relentless inflation we've been facing. In fact, realistically, $200 might not cut it anymore. Given the eroding purchasing power of Social Security benefits due to inflation over the last few years, we might be looking at more like $300 or $400 per month to make a real impact on the lives of beneficiaries. Let's rewind a bit. The $200 per month raise proposal isn't a new idea. It was initially introduced back in March 2020 when the economy was grappling with closures. A handful of Democratic senators proposed a temporary $200 per month raise until the end of the era proposal that never materialized. Fast forward, and about a year and a half ago, Bernie Sanders and colleagues reintroduced the idea with the Social Security Expansion Act. This comprehensive plan not only includes the $200 raise but also adjusts the COLA calculation, raises taxes on higher-income individuals, and more. The primary focus, though, is that $200 per month raise for the next 75 years. Here's where it gets interesting. Reports are surfacing that some people have already received $200 more per month in their Social Security benefits. So, I dug into this to uncover the details. And yes, it's true some have seen this increase, but not everyone. Let me break it down for you. Let's talk numbers. Last year, in 2023, though I'm filming this in 2024, we experienced a substantial 8.7% COLA, the most significant since 1981. As a result, the average Social Security beneficiary received $144 more per month in 2023. Fast forward to 2024, and we got a less thrilling 3.2% COLA, contributing an additional $55 per month on average. Now, when you add these two together $144 and $55 you get $199. It's just a dollar short of $200, but for simplification, let's call it $200. Now, here's the crucial point. This $200 increase from the COLA is not the $200 per month raise we've been eagerly anticipating from the Social Security Expansion Act. It's merely an adjustment to compensate for the impact of inflation on Social Security benefits over the last two years. So, while some have received this adjustment, it doesn't replace the need for the long-awaited $200 per month raise proposed by Bernie Sanders and others. Remember, the purpose of COLA is to adjust for the cost of living, but it doesn't fully keep up with the real inflation that fixed-income beneficiaries are grappling with. The $200 adjustment from COLA doesn't resolve the underlying issue the need for a substantial and permanent raise to Social Security benefits. Let's jump into our next topic. There are reports circulating that the government might be giving the green light for up to three direct payments, totaling a whopping $2,400, in March 2024. With the escalating costs we're all facing, these extra funds could bring much-needed relief. Today, I'll break down all the details about these potential stimulus payments for SSI, SSDI, and regular Social Security beneficiaries. We'll cover how much you might get, when the money could arrive, and what you need to do to ensure you receive your payments. Stick around for a comprehensive breakdown of everything you need to know about the possible upcoming direct payments for Social Security recipients in March 2024. This is information you won't want to miss, so be sure to watch. First things first, who's in line for these potential stimulus payments? Well, if approved, the direct payments would likely go to all categories of Social Security recipients. This includes retirees, survivors, 
Disability Recipients, SSDI, and SSI, Supplemental Security Income, Recipients. The key requirement would be that you are already actively receiving payments from Social Security as of the eligibility date for the stimulus payments. But remember, this won't be universal as specifically for those enrolled in and actively collecting from a Social Security program. Now, when could we see this extra financial support? As of now, these direct payments are still in the proposal stage but there's talk they could materialize as soon as March 2024 if approved. The goal is to get the money out quickly to those in need, and eligible beneficiaries could see deposits in their bank accounts as early as the 1 SD of March. We anticipate a swift delivery process, with eligible Social Security recipients receiving their funds by the end of March 2024. All right, let's talk numbers. The potential direct payments are being discussed as three equal payments of $800 each, providing up to $2,000 in total stimulus money delivered over the month of March 2024. However, the specific amount you receive may vary based on the type of Social Security benefit you currently receive. We'll break down the expected amounts for retirees, SSDI recipients, and SSI recipients to give you a clear picture. Here's the good news you likely won't have to do anything to claim your potential stimulus payments. Since the money would go to existing Social Security beneficiaries, the IRS and SSA already have your necessary details on file. As long as you are receiving Social Security Retirement, SSDI, SSI, or survivor's benefits as of the eligibility cutoff, you should automatically be in line for the stimulus money. Still, it doesn't hurt to ensure your information is up to date with the SSA and stay current with your federal tax returns. A common concern is how the extra money might affect eligibility for other government benefits. We'll break down the potential impact on programs like SSI, Medicaid, food stamps, SNAP, and subsidized housing. The goal is to provide clarity on how the stimulus might interact with these programs, ensuring you have a comprehensive understanding. Beyond the potential stimulus payments, there are various programs providing financial assistance to seniors, survivors, and disability recipients. We'll highlight key resources, including Medicare Savings Programs, SNAP Food Assistance, Section 202 Housing, HEAP Grants, Medicaid waiver programs, local food banks, prescription assistance groups, accessible transportation, and legal aid. These resources can complement Social Security benefits and help stretch your limited income further. While the potential for large direct payments is exciting, it's crucial to stay informed on the approval status. As of now, nothing is guaranteed and formal approval from Congress is needed. The key is to watch for updates on payment approval and prepare for the possibility of extra income this March. Reach out to advocacy groups like the ARP and the National Committee to Preserve Social Security and Medicare. They lobby on behalf of seniors, and your voice can make a difference. In conclusion, this potential stimulus presents a lifeline for many Social Security beneficiaries facing the challenges of rising inflation. While approval is still pending, the door seems open for delivery by March 2024. Stay tuned for updates, and be proactive in advocating for the support you need. If you found this breakdown helpful, hit the like button, share it with others, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates.